What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. We're kind of breaking up Western Tour Series with something a little bit different. Today we're going to give you a camp tour along with some bow shooting. So we're in Nebraska right now. This is day number eight. It's been an absolute grind. Um, this morning it was very hard to get out of bed and uh, we only had a short quick morning hunt. And we went into town and had a huge breakfast and went to Tim's house and had a shower. So that kind of gave us a little bit of recharge. And we checked trail cameras and there is a giant right back here. So I'm in like totally different spirit. So I'm super glad we did that. But anyways, we figured it'd be kind of cool to see, show you guys how we kind of been operating. Like we're all said and done, we're going to be on the road for 25 days straight. And uh, it's got to be like super organized and uh kind of functional and simplistic on on how we do that because for the most part i mean when we've been in nebraska we've been right here tim actually brought out his camper and we've been kind of operating out of it but really me i've been operating a lot out of the truck um so yeah we'll give you the full tour kind of of our gear and whatnot this obviously this is the truck we've done tour on it and everything but uh i always keep a lot of essentials i always have a knife in the front i have bug spray flashlight then i always have a staple gun and posted signs <laughs> i don't know why but they come in handy and another flashlight i have outdoor edge blades i have a tree step mainly for trail cameras i'll screw it in down low to get it screwed out if i have it up high another pair of gloves i have an extra wind checker extra release and uh and then some b-reel stickers in the door in case anyone ever stops by which come in handy pretty pretty recently um i always keep my laptop right here charging right now always got a rain going bunch of stuff charging always um that's about it just some junk up there i'll go in the back have headlamp oh dude that's where that saw went it was right in there i have a saw i was looking for this uh, i got some extra broadheads uh more knives i have a uh, window mount spotting scope window mount extra granola bar and then i have this is kind of janky i wish i had a better system but i literally keep my scent spray like right there <laughs> and then some wipes if your hands get dirty uh, bow case, which normally when I run my bow lately, because we're just driving around on dirt roads or whatever, I've just been laying it right there. Uh, this is my backpack. I'll just grab that quick when we go out. I keep either a coat or whatnot. I hang it on the back of my seat, along with my vinyl harness. I hang on the back of my seat, so it's easy to get. For camera gear, I keep a Yeti Go box right here, um, and I got it full of just a bunch of random stuff. Um, got a full set of that oops full set of batteries extra lenses it's kind of all bare bones because we're using all the stuff right now that stays right there backpack with random stuff got duct tape paper towel wipes more no scent stuff a couple random stuff so that's all pretty functional a little messy but not terrible okay up next i guess we'll check look in the side box this <laughs> Got him. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Don't stop on that. Uh, this really only comes in handy when I'm like whitetail hunting. I have uh, all my tethered and tree stuff in here. You can see my steps. Got a game bag, tripod, um, wrench set, uh, and then some ratchet straps electrical cord kind of like oh and a stove back there this stuff doesn't get used a whole lot but when it is getting used it it's very helpful uh, and we'll go on the back we kind of took everything out of the bed of the truck but uh we got bins we got the big yeti cooler that right now everything's in uh tim's freezer at his house about 40 minutes away um from the antelope and the whitetail so that worked out good. We got water that we've never used and gas that we've never used. But you know what? When we need extra water and gas, we have it. 
Uh, we have a foldable table that has come in handy a lot on this trip. Uh, not really in Nebraska. And then uh, another cooler. And here I just have a tarp, some random stuff. And this is Mitch's side. Can I show him your side? You got anything on it? We got freaking candy. Camera. This is kind of Mitch's camera gear. He keeps his backpack up on top too. Oh, this is all my white tail stuff. I just threw it in a sick of bag down low because we're going to be going to Kentucky with the Hunt Eyes crew. So all my white tail stuff's in there. I haven't been using that. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Simple. Uh, let's go up top real quick. So I've been sleeping in here every night. Um, well, mainly because we had a full camp for the first couple nights, and then I was like, well, I'll just keep sleeping. Oh, we got rubber boots, too, that I just took out of the bin. But this topper system is super easy. Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten seconds to get this thing up. Here, come up, jump up here, man. Hair comb. Okay, so this is where I've been sleeping. I got my pillow, sleeping bag. I got an extra sleeping bag just for some little bit. Got a water bottle, and I literally keep this up in here and just shut it on top of it. It works really good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This thing's waterproof, windproof, and actually stays a little bit insulated. Not awesome, but a little bit. And then to shut it, you just pull it down, suck all the air out of it. Going down is definitely a little bit more time consuming. Pushing the sides here. I'm about to get over here. Just push it in, clip it down, switch it in again. That's it, up and down, just like that. So I've been sleeping up there, which has been really good. Um, and then we got our trash, and then, let's see, I gotta fix that. Every now and again, that happens. Like it's bunched up right there, which I don't like. But we have bins. This is Mitch's bin. This is my clothes bin. This is the only thing that's unorganized, but I have garbage bag of all my dirty clothes. And then I have everything pretty organized. I have shirts all rolled up, stacked. And then I have fresh underwear and then fresh socks. And then over here, everything's semi-folded up. It's just important. I actually have a cardboard divider that I made in there too to keep things separated. Um, but it's just super important to keep organized because when you're going, it's just so much faster. I got my uh, hauler backpack, Sika, whatever, 4,900. Um, I have a jet boil that I've just been keeping out. In here, I just have some junk stuff, hammock, extra broadheads. Really, that's about it. That one's pretty empty. Which has been this is just like random stuff again paper towel toilet paper uh we're all out of oh we have one mountain house left but i kept all the mountain houses in there and then this bin we have snacks got a bunch of snacks in here we're running kind of out of options but uh got one more. oh we got another mountain house in here too but cliff bars kind bars i uh, got some black rifle coffee dried fruit good to have just like snacks up already i think that's like it dude oh and two chairs two lawn chairs because why not oh and the morale target way down there we always travel with that that's about it it's not a lot of stuff that'll like keep us going for a long time but what i was thinking for today's shooting video is 
we can talk about the importance of checking your sight marks throughout the hunting, if that makes sense. Because you're like running around. We've been running around in Nebraska for eight days, throwing my ball around, whatever, crossing fences, you know, cattle fences, not property lines, people. And uh, it just stuff can like get bumped or moved around or whatever. So I'm gonna take these four arrows and I'm going to run through my sight tape. We'll do 20, 20, 40, 60, 80. How's that sound? Sound good, Mitch? That's good. Okay, let's go do that. What's the time? What are we rolling at? 11 minutes. Really? Yep. That's a video right there. It's about 20. What this does is it's like, it just keeps your confidence high. You know, 21. Keeps your confidence high. You never want to be wondering, especially when you're hunting, you never want to be wondering if like your bow's still on or whatever. Um, so I like to, at least every other day, every couple days, if you're in camp, run through your sight tape and run through your whole sight tape. Don't just shoot one at, don't just shoot one at 20, call it good, or 80. Your middle of your sight tapes can be messed up too, for some reason. Right. Go back to 40 now. Didn't help me to do that. Pretty good. Still a little right. See, I was like two inches right and didn't know it, which is fine. Fifty, sixty. Long hold, but it felt good. Yep, right in the dot. That's good. Okay, now 80. Eighty or whatever. Ooh, we gotta go over. I go in the bushes. A little bit of grass and the target. Eighty six. Okay, so I have two to the right, one right at twelve o'clock of the dot. Perfect. 
right in there. That was good. Let's go check them out. That's just so good. It's midday. It's hot right now. We're not hunting. We're not doing anything. Probably could be hunting, but we're taking a break. Check your sight tapes. It helps with comp. That's the only thing. It helps with confidence. Most of the time your bow is going to be on, but now I know. Now I know my bow is 100% on. Run through it. 20 through 86, whatever it was. And it helps you make sure a lot of times people like put on this bino harness and they've never used it or they like have stuff that when they go hunting they like add stuff to their setups that they don't normally hunt with quivers bino harnesses special release type stuff knife whatever if you at least at the very least i like to practice like before you go hunting how you're going to be hunting but at the very least when you're at camp you know at least practice with it So all those shots will kill a deer for sure. This one, this one was 20 yards. And I remember saying, I was like, inch or two right. Clicked it, this was 45. Then this one right here was like 60 something. And that was 80 something. So I can nearly fit my hand around it. I'm super happy with that. My bow's on, I'm on, but feeling good. And we are ready to go kill a buck tonight hopefully in nebraska so thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed this quick video and uh catch you guys in the next one